Good morning. It's Thursday, March 16th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Anger Issues, and our scripture is Ephesians chapter 4, where the Apostle Paul writes, So stop telling lies. Let us tell our neighbors the truth, for we are all parts of the same body. And don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you're still angry, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. If you are a thief, quit stealing. Instead, use your hands for good hard work, and then give generously to others in need. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. And do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, He has identified you as His own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. Each of the words or actions Apostle Paul says that we must banish from our nature is a characteristic or outcome of anger. Lying, harboring a grudge, stealing, foul language, abusive behavior, bitterness, rage, slander, and every other antisocial behavior is a child of selfish anger. At the very least, they're all cousins, and they are all born in an unforgiving heart. This is why the tail end of Paul's counsel is to let the heart tender up, to learn to forgive. Choosing to be angry, punishing another rather than forgiving, is that which gives foothold to the devil. Paul is giving the mountain-climbing metaphor to make it clear that Satan has a long, nearly impossible job ahead of him getting into your brain and taking over when you're tender-hearted, a forgiver. When you're angry, he has no problem climbing all over you. Without mincing words, the apostle is making it clear anger is a choice which serves Satan, not Christ. It is choosing self rather than what Jesus said about denying self and taking up the cross. Luke chapter 9. If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily, and follow me. There's not much wiggle room in that, is there? And it's a hard thing to break habits that are so long entrenched. But The words of Christ do not pull punches about giving up that which gives foothold to the devil's ways. The question for most of us is, I want to give up lying, foul language, and all that other stuff, but I keep falling back into it. I don't like being angry, but it happens all the time. Am I doomed? The short answer is emphatically no. If you're a follower of Jesus, you're already forgiven. You're not doomed. You're a human with a carnal nature that can't be behaviorally perfect. The next thought is, well, how can I have hope of ever being obedient and getting rid of this anger? Well, that's a longer discussion, but the short answer is that leaning on Christ, staying close to the Master, sitting at His feet, and hanging with His people are the ways that God changes us. Some are blessed to give up anger issues and the transformation is almost immediate. Others must persevere because the behavior has so entwined in every aspect of thinking and doing, it's a longer, more difficult uphill challenge. This is why the Apostle also advised believers to never stop praying. For you today, got anger issues? Keep praying. Work on the behavior. Trust God today. And when you wake up tomorrow, repeat. He's not done with you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.